I'm uh, Justice Tankiwe, originally from Ghana, but I live in Cambridge and work with the University of Cambridge as a lecturer in criminology and a director of the master's program. Justice veio a São Paulo em março a convite do Núcleo de Estudos da Violência, o NEV, para conhecer a principal atividade de pesquisa do núcleo. Trata-se de um esforço para entender como se constrói socialmente a legitimidade de instituições como o governo e a polícia. The approach has often been to simply pick survey instruments, questions from let's say New York and just try to use them elsewhere without first trying to explore whether those questions make sense in that context. They have avoided that problem by starting from the ground, kind of bottom-up approach to developing the survey instruments. And that means that the results or the survey instruments measure um, issues that reflect the context, okay? Uh, which is important in developing theory because you don't want a contextless theory, a theory that or evidence that has nothing to do with the context that you are looking at. The history, the politics, the economics, the religious beliefs, everything that influenced the nature of policing um, is different often from society to society. So you can't simply assume that the way people think about policing in New York or in London will be similar to the way they think about uh, policing in Sao Paulo. And we have from the US findings that when people think about legitimacy, they think more in terms of fair procedures, by which they mean, did the police listen to me? Did they explain or give a reason for their decisions? Did they come across to me as being impartial? Did they show me respect during the interactions? Mas o que vale para os Estados Unidos pode não valer para outros países. In different societies, each of these things might have the same emphasis or people might place greater emphasis on one or the other. So for example, it will not be unreasonable to expect that in a community where there is high crime rates, people will think more about the effectiveness of power rather than, say, um, respectful treatment. That's likely to happen. So, for example, the tension between effectiveness or security, a quest for security, and the issue of liberty, right? We want the police to be effective, but sometimes some of the tactics, some of the strategies they choose to use might be strategies that undermine people's civil liberties. A classic case is the discussion on terrorism and counter-terrorism. Yes, no one wants a society that terrorists run amok, do whatever they like. We want security agencies to do something about it. But we might not want them to do things that undermine our values about respect, dignity, human rights, and those sort of things. So it's often a very difficult um, issue. And that is why we cannot impose the meaning of legitimacy from outside. We have to try to understand it within the particular society in question. Na próxima parte da entrevista com Justice, a conversa é sobre legitimidade, o cerne da pesquisa do Neve. Não perca!